morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just so fun, it's just for you. Oh, no snappers today. It's, I feel like Roger's driving that train, and he, when he's not oh, here. No, somebody should... Somebody should really pick up the baton from him, guys. Yeah, it's disappointing. You well, you got to develop a team, and yeah. he doesn't. That's not his strength. He's no. got to be better at that. He's a great snapper, <laughs> but he's not a good team builder. Yeah. Is what we're saying there. All right, time for number six. Backpacks are having a moment right now. More people are opting to keep their hands free as they commute back and forth to the office. But there's more to it than that. The current crop of backpacks are sleek and they're stylish, and it's all about the PDB. The practical day bag, uh, but they uh, they're also they also want a little SNT, which is a sassy night tote. I've got lots of examples on my blog. Paulie's got back as in <laughs> backpacks, so check that out. This song is from Dora the Explorer. Remember this? Oh. Back, 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 back. That's a deep cut right oh, there. Oh huh? yeah. God, I listen. Paul, I can't tell you how one? much I, I listen to when she our kids make were little. At our house. Oh. Did you let your kids watch any of this stuff when they were little, oh, or did you have watch like on, PBS? Uh, yeah, no, they got on that Wiggles train, oh, which uh, yeah. I thought was going to be the end of me. But <laughs> <laughs> they were now, guys come on, sit down. This is the Bavarian Pops right here <laughs> at Oktoberfest in 1994. <laughs> now look at the baritone. Oh, there we go. These guys are good too. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> Who's got the clap? I do, I do. <laughs> Not the wiggles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number five, when you're a little kid, there's nothing like building a fort in the middle of your room. So check out the kitty couch. It's a sofa, especially for kids with modular cushions. You can use them for seating, of course, but you yeah, know that's so boring. Your kids can turn them into beds in the forts, in the gymnastics mats, in the castles, you name it. Boy, that's brilliant. They're all made from durable micro velvet fabric, uh, so they're soft and easy to clean. A basic set is around 349 bucks, but you can buy lots of additional pieces. The fun thing to do is to just stack them all as high as you can yeah. and then jump off them, right? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. probably the most fun way to do it. <laughs> All right, number four, the weather's about to get warmer finally, but here's something not to do in the summer. Do not work out before bed. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, exercise raises your body's core temperature and it can remain elevated for several hours. You'll need at least two or three hours to cool down. And if you're too hot, you won't get that melatonin release that you need. Plus, exercise releases endorphins and get your adrenaline pumping. So try to hit the gym in the morning or afternoon if you can, or just don't do it, and then it won't raise their, you know, yeah. dangerous body temperature like right. that. You don't want to put yourself in danger. Good to know. And number three, a bride-to-be recently posted her wedding timeline online, and it's getting lots of attention. Her name is Stacy. She has a list of every single thing she needs to be done in order for her wedding day to go off without a hitch. Sounds fine, right? Well, it's good to be organized. Only Stacy's list is 13 pages long. Oh, every boy. second of every minute of every hour is accounted for. Uh, Starting at 4.30 p.m. and running straight through midnight, this guy should run yes, he should. right now. <laughs> there are schedules for the bridal party, the, br the groom's party, the bartenders, the caterers, the band, the ceremonies, also time so they can say, I do, as the sun sets. Wow. <sighs> I don't know that kind of energy. Hmm. I mean, that's a lot of just, just let it be. Put the effort into the marriage. Oh, Not thank you, Confucius. That's mm -hmm. good. Wowie. That's I really do good. remember your wedding was a bit of a spectacle, though. I'm going to say in re retrospect, <laughs> he's all I was Confucius. just a guest, yeah. and I was lucky I was invited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, number two, baseball fans can dine in center field at one of their favorite iconic baseball stadiums this summer. It's part of the James Beard Foundation's Stadium Chef Series. Uh, dinner parties will be held in Wrigley Field, Fenway Park in Boston, and Target Field in Minneapolis. Here in Chicago, people will begin with a cocktail reception, followed by a four-course meal cooked by some of the most sought after chefs in the world. The event is June 4th. Tickets start at $500 a person and they go on sale today. You can check out stadiumchefseries.com for details. That is a big table. Yeah.
Boy, baseball just proved to be more and more relatable and affordable <laughs> to the common fan. All right. right. <laughs> That's fun. All right, number one, we told you uh, about this last week. I'm sorry, I An uh, animal sanctuary in England is looking for a human seagull deterrence. People who want to dress up as eagles and help scare Ooh, the goals away. It does sound fun, doesn't it? Why? This looks great. Where is this? Where'd you say this was? England. Somewhere. Huh. Uh, but when it comes to keeping seagulls and other birds away, there are a lot of other options. Seagulls hate pinwheels. Uh, those little things that spin around when it gets windy. They also dislike sound machines. And they're turned off by certain smells. Bird scientists say seagulls are repulsed by garlic, cayenne pepper, and peppermint oil. Fun fact, garlic also works to keep mosquitoes away. Disney has a special garlic extract, and they spray it around the park just to keep the bugs away. They say it must work because there's not That's a true. lot of mosquitoes yeah, at true. Disney. Well, isn't yeah. that something? Why don't we do that at our houses? It's garlic extract. It smells yeah. like garlic on your patio. Huh. Then? Keeps vampires away, too. Yeah, the twofer. The twofer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the six and six.